Here's the next installment in my Bearhawk Saga. I did do a video on my fuselage rotisserie and it did come out pretty nice. I've had a lot of really nice comments about it and a lot of people have copied the design which is good because then uh, that means that uh, you know it's useful and somebody else can get use of it and they usually put their own touches on it. Well, anyway what I'm talking about now is trying to weld on the fuselage. The, the problem with this particular setup that I have here Although the rotisserie, the imaginary line goes from front to rear through the middle of the fuselage, the bottom of the fuselage has a lot more structure on it than the top of the fuselage does. So when I turn it in the rotisserie, when I try to rotate it this way or I try to rotate it that way, the fuselage tended to come back to rest like where it is right now because of the, the weight differential. And even those two locking nuts on top were just barely enough to hold, uh, hold it in place and I still didn't feel too secure about it. I put it on the, on the website and Scott Weinberg from Iowa suggested that I just strap on a piece of steel onto the top like he does on his fuselages and provide a counterweight. And I thought, wow, what a great idea. You know, I'd <laughs> blinding flash the obvious, counterweight the thing. So I went ahead and took a look to see what I had for counterweight material. I had this piece of uh, square tubing. It's pretty heavy, quarter inch wall. <laughs> And I had these little chunks of steel here, and I thought, well, I'm going to have to kind of attach some rusty chunks of steel up to the top. And I wasn't too thrilled about that, and I really wasn't going to be able to regulate the weight. And then a friend of mine, Rob Taylor, suggested that I go ahead and put on some sandbags, or make a sandbag and mount it on top, and that way it won't damage the tubing, and I could manage the weight that way. I thought that was a pretty good idea, but then it would... Either one of those ideas kind of concentrates the weight in one spot and it'd be kind of difficult getting a sandbag to be able to be movable. I figured it'd be nice to have the weight, whatever weight I made, to be able to easily be movable when it comes time to weld. So what I came up with, or correction, what I, what I needed to find out first was how much force I needed to keep the fuselage in one spot. So what I did is I took this fishing scale that I had and I hooked it on the fuselage and I pulled it until I found out exactly how much force I needed to keep it in one spot and it came out to about 22 pounds. So then I have this scrap tubing that I have. This just happens to be half inch PVC pipe and then I had another piece of like, I think it's one inch electrical conduit. And what I, uh, what I decided to do is fill them up full of buckshot. Basically lead, it doesn't have to be this stuff, but this is number four buckshot that I use for making lead fishing weights little slinky weights and this is what it looks like they're just pea size so I got a funnel I got the shot and I went ahead and filled it up and I filled up oh I don't know probably about this much of a bag so probably pretty close to 22 pounds each one of these bags weighs 25 pounds from the factory so I filled one up put it on there filled another one up put it on there and filled another one up and then got them got them up here and this is the end result I've got three pieces of tubing here I just duct taped the ends, of course good old duct tape, and I rubber banded the tubes onto the fuselage. The good news about all this stuff is, is that it stays. It's, it's counterbalanced just about perfectly. The thing that I like about this particular design is I can go ahead and I can take these tubes that are full of lead and I can just take, and just take them loose and move them. Let's say if I'm here welding these clusters and I'm moving my way forward and I know I need to go ahead and weld in here, it's really easy just to take these rubber bands loose, scooch this whole, oh, uh, this whole assembly over, and this one as well, move them over. They'll still be up on the top, and they'll still provide counterbalance, but they'll be out of the way of my welding and also of the heat, so they're not going to melt. And the other good news is that it <laughs> turns really easy now that it's counterbalanced. I know it seems like it's a big surprise to me, and actually it is, but I mean, I went ahead and I can just go ahead and move it anywhere I want, and it stays. And it goes really easy. All I have to do is just flip it around with my flip it around with my hand, hardly any force whatsoever, and flip it around and weave it, and there it is. I can weld in a comfortable position, move the stuff wherever I need it, and these tubes can be movable. And when I'm done with them, all I got to do is uncap the ends, pour out the lead shot, save the tubes for another day. Till next time.